right, this is Kai Pacha with the Weekly Paley Report. I'm trying something new because it's so freaking windy up here. I'm trying to use a microphone to see if that thing works. Yep, came in from the caribou of British Columbia to New York City last night. <laughs> I'm on the 14th floor of the Hotel Indigo. Super freaking awesome place. That was the lobby down there. It is August 1st of 2018. Oh my God, Mars is square Uranus today, baby. The moon is in Aries, coming into conjunct, well, conjunct with Chiron, squaring Saturn. And uh, uh, Friday, she goes into Taurus, moves on through Taurus, you know, of course, hits Uranus over there. And then on Sunday, moves into Gemini, and hangs around Gemini until uh, you know, she goes into Cancer on Wednesday. So we've got on Saturday, we've got the sun square moon. Yeah. And this whole week, of course, we've got the sun square Jupiter. That's exact next Monday, but hello. You know, uh, you got to give it a few degrees either way. So uh, it's coming up. It is square and it's traveling along there with Mercury. We know that Mercury has gone retrograde. So we got this retrograde Mercury. I'm going to be talking about that a little bit. What else am I going to be talking about? I mean, most, mostly the Mars square Uranus and Sun square Jupiter. Along with that, Venus is going into Libra on Monday. Okay. And as soon as she does, of course, she's going to oppose Chiron. You know, with the quincunx over there to Uranus. But... She will give a nice trine to Mars. Venus trine Mars is exact on next Tuesday, but you know, it's happening. And last but not least, what I'll probably be talking a little bit about is Uranus stationing to go retrograde next Tuesday. Yeah, so let me find a spot. I'm going to look at the camera here. You know, this is a restaurant bar up here on the 14th floor. No, this is the 15th floor. But I'll find a place. Okay, everybody. Well, <clears throat> as you can see, some things have changed. <laughs> oh, my God. First of all, I hope this thing works because it's been a super pain in the butt just like everything else these days. Mercury retrograde. If you know astrology, you will understand. I'm going to have to do a little personal sharing here. And, you know, it was many years ago when I first started the Bailey Report that a psychic told me not to make it about myself. That I could become well known, but that I should not, never make it about myself. So I try not to talk about myself too much, even though I have a bunch of Leo. <laughs> But in this particular case, since I have all these aspects, Mars is opposite my sun. I have the sun conjunct Uranus. So Mars is opposite my sun Uranus. The moon's north node, this whole eclipse thing is happening on my sun Uranus. And Uranus is going into Taurus, squaring my sun, squaring my Uranus. I've got a number of years of unexpected events. However, this is particularly Mars. Ah, uh, the warrior. <laughs> wow. Astrology is just so perfect, man. I was teaching a, a course there up in the Caribou in, in British Columbia, and we did part of a healing process was with um, a trust fall. And what happened? But in the trust fall, the person stood there and I was holding, you know, to catch her, and her elbow came down, and I think I, I might have broken my nose. And it's just like, aha! <laughs> Not only do I have a broken rib, and my knee is broken, and I lost my phone, I, you know, it's like, oh my God, what's going on? And, you know, in astrology, there are no coincidences, and there are no accidents. 
and I'm only sharing this because it has to do with today's mantra, it has to do with this eclipse season, it has to do with what's going on for everybody now, because my son Uranus is in the 12th house of the collective unconscious. So, you know, I think a lot of people can relate, yeah, to what, you know, to what is happening here with these moon's nodes going through Aquarius Leo and this need. So I want to go on with my story because like, you know, when I wake up looking like this, what's the first thing I do? I mean, yesterday I go into the airport and, you know, I go, there's a cosmetic section, man. And I, I spent some ungodly amount on some freaking, you know, and some, you know, I had the lady, uh, you know, cover this up. I'm on Rama TV tonight with Guru Jagged, you know, I'm in New York. I got two workshops. I got got a Pele report to do, you know? I mean, I, I, I need to cover this up. I don't want to be seen like this. I'm wounded, I'm ugly. I'm like, all the stuff comes up, man. <laughs> I got a broken nose, a broken life. <laughs> Jesus. So you see, <clears throat> This, of course, what do I do? Well, the first thing I do is I go to Louise Hay, heal your body. Because I think she is awesome and she goes through every part of the body, you know? And, you know, for the nose, a bloody nose, which I did get a bloody nose, like when it happened, right? You know, is a need for recognition. And I'm sitting here going, whoa, a need for recognition, man, I get, tons of recognition everywhere I go you know and then I go to my sacred rebel deck of cards right which is like the best freaking card deck ever and I get the sacred fool another very interesting card to check out and so you know it's like you gather this information of course I look at my astrology it's like we have all these tools, right? I could have a dream about this, and I, you know, I can have, you know, da da da, da you know, and, you know, someone said I, you look like a warrior, you know, and I, and I thought I just looked, you know, pretty pathetic. <laughs> you know, like I got these bags. Who knows how long this is going to take to go away, man? You know. So anyway, this is what you know. This is what this thing is about now. Right? We are in a time of waking up and the north node of the moon traveling through Leo from May of 17 to November of 18. It's still there. It's coming around. Okay, four, three, two, one degrees, zero degrees, boom, you know, before it goes into cancer. And, you know, we've got black moon Lilith. Did I say that? Black moon Lilith. She, black moon Lilith comes into Aquarius next Monday. She's at 29 degrees Capricorn. So we're going to be having a Mars, Black Moon, Lilith, South Node of the Moon conjunction. I mean, if there's not a time to like look out, this is a time to look out. <laughs> you know, and then Lilith is going to come up and square Uranus. I mean, anything can happen these days. And it's all bringing up, bringing up, bringing up. Aquarius, retrograde Mars in Aquarius, south node in Aquarius, wanting to get the eagle eye view. North node in Leo, wanting to be authentic, what was it, aho, authentic, honest, and open. This is Leo, this is the north node of the moon in Leo. And so much of this is what the age of Aquarius is all about for the next 2,000 years. In a way, we're all preparing. We're all learning, we're all growing. We're all giving birth to this age of Aquarius. We are all maybe teachers of the age of Aquarius. If you're watching this video, you're into uh, you know astrology. Astrology ruled by Aquarius. All right, you know, giving birth to this age of Aquarius. We're all teaching what? Unity in diversity. And that means to be vulnerable, 
to expose ourselves. This is the sun square Jupiter in Scorpio. Jupiter in Scorpio. Scorpio says expose, be vulnerable to experience the mysteries of life. Open yourself to intimacy. Let life affect you. Do not shut down, close down, try to hide or cover up, okay, you know? It's like, no, show who you are, show what you are, you know, accept, this is part of accepting ourselves, which is Taurus, unconditional self-love. This fixed cross is just getting it big time now, right? Jupiter, Uranus, Sun, Mercury, Mars, Moon's nodes, all in this fixed cross, which is like the Bible, you know, the four Gospels, yeah, you know, the bull, the lion, right, the eagle, and the man, Aquarius is the man, the water bearer, anyway, I don't want to get religious here, <laughs> but I just want to say that this is a time where accidents will happen and there are no accidents. Okay, that coincidences will happen and there are no coincidences. Like, you know, this is everything. Like, you know, I changed positions with another person. We were just about to, you know, she was just about to fall and I said, oh, you know what, I should change with you. I need to stand over here, you know? Uranus is the personal unconscious, and this personal unconscious is cooperating with Pluto, all right, the force of evolution, all right, because you know what, this like had to happen. I had to have, I had to read that sacred rebel card. I had to look at, you know, what I'm doing for recognition and, and maybe why or how I unconsciously need so much attention and so much recognition and is that about my insecurities or is that about you know that that this that or the other i mean it's just like you know one thing leads to another there is growth through pain and suffering this is what chiron is teaching us and venus coming up to oppose chiron it's almost like get ready for pain <laughs> this freaking thing hurts man i'm icing it day and night you know but we can hurt physically, and maybe that's even the easiest. Emotional pain, mental pain, and this is where the relationships come in. Yeah? And this Jupiter in Scorpio, shared money, shared intimacy, okay? The deep emotional layers and levels of our relationships and partnerships. So this, you know, this mantra today, if someone gets hurt or broken, I was going to say if something gets hurt or broken, but you know what? I'm thinking about it, ah, eh, you know, things are not really as, I don't know, you know, when your car breaks or your computer breaks, you know, with Mercury retrograde, your bicycle breaks, that's one thing, okay? But like when that car braking stops you from showing up at the hospital for your wife's emergency, you know, or when your, you know, your computer, you know, makes it so you can't get in touch with somebody who really needs you. It's really when people get hurt or broken. We know that we have gone over the boundary, over the limit. That's how we know we have a limit. How we know we have a boundary is we go over it. <laughs> we go outside it. Yeah? You know, we make a commitment and we go outside it. Okay? You know, we, you know, we, 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 there are time and space is a boundary or a limit. You go too fast, you get a ticket. You know? You know, you, you betray your partner or something, you know, and there's a wound and a hurt and you know, you've gone outside the boundaries. Every relationship has limits. We have either, we, we, we all have agreements, spoken or unspoken. And this is the big thing now with retrograde mercury. Retrograde mercury is reflect, review, remember 
bring things maybe up that need to be spoken, that haven't been spoken. <laughs> bring it up above board, it's in Leo. Express it, Leo is the fifth house in the heart chakra, expressing, yeah. Squaring this Jupiter is saying that this is an opportunity to go to deeper levels, to expand our consciousness through intimate, deep sharing not about business and not about the weather okay yeah people you know say oh you know I, I you know I don't have any problems with communication you know Venus opposite Chiron says are you communicating <clears throat> your deepest truth your deepest feelings your deepest you know issues problems Chiron has to do with the hero and the heroine's journey and it's going through Aries for the next eight years. It's on the cusp. Very powerful time period. Saturn is squaring Chiron. Saturn was square Chiron all last year, baby. Now it's coming around again for like a final, final, final. <laughs> you know, it's still a degree apart or two, but it's going on for a couple of months. And this has to do, in my mind, okay, this wound in Aries is I don't you know, I don't feel powerful enough. I don't feel potent. I don't feel my warrior. And we can overcompensate. When we feel weak or we feel scared, we don't want anybody to know, we don't want to look stupid, okay? You know, we want to cover up, you know, our feelings of inadequacy or insecurity. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> so I'm thinking all this thing is about. <laughs> I need so much recognition maybe because deep down I'm deeply insecure and I have all kinds of fears and feel inadequate and impotent and small. So I'm, you know, overdoing it maybe. You know, with this Pele report and all these workshops and all this kind of, maybe I'm supposed to just like retire, get a sailboat and disappear, work on my own shit. <laughs> You know, there's all kinds of levels and levels and layers and layers and layers of stuff that you can look at with these kinds of things. Everything that happens in our life, but particularly when it hurts ourselves or hurts somebody else. Pain. Suffering is the hero and the heroine's journey going into the pain and suffering. Feeling it, not running from it, not trying to hide it, but like dealing with it, and then what? Upping the bar. That's what I mean in this, you know. You know, Aquarius is about upping the bar, doing it better, improving ourselves, self improvement. Yeah? I'm improving the Pele report here, you know, so the wind is, you know, I'm using a microphone. Maybe that's an improvement. <laughs> Well, you know, I mean, it's just, but we can improve ourselves, improve our relationships, you know, improve the work that we do. This is what Aquarius is all about. This is what the journey is all about. It's getting better, baby. It's getting better all the time. We have to up the bar. And that's the healing process. As we get better, if we make mistakes in our relationships, you know, if we lie, hide, betray, whatever, you know, hurt somebody and we and we own it and expose it and come out with it and then we improve ourselves. We say, you know what, I'm going to not do that anymore. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to change. And this is the hardest part. This is all going on with the fixed cross. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, fixed. They, I don't like to change. I'd rather change you, change the world, okay, than change myself. So it's, this is a real time where we can struggle, you know, with do I want to change? Do I want to up the bar? Or do I want to try to change them? You know, the other, or, or you know, like people, or society, or the government. Change the world, man. We can do both. It's not either or, it's both and more, man. But I'm just, I'm just saying, it's good to start in your own backyard. 
trick in. All right. That's nothing to, you know, I can go on and on, man. I'm going to be talking all night. It will be, I think. I think it's on Rama TV. I'm going to try to record it, share it with my new Paradigm Astrology community. Are you in the community? You know, I got a community where I share a whole bunch of stuff, and the Dream Team shares a whole bunch of stuff, and we got discounts and community gatherings and stuff like that, online forum, whatever, you know. Check it out sometime if you're not. You know, astrology is just like so awesome. The more you learn, the more you raise your own bar. <laughs> so, the mantra for today, when someone gets hurt or broken, right? I know I've gone too far. And part of the healing process is for me to raise the bar. So, instead of wallowing in misery, pain, victimization, self-pity, whatever all this stuff is, just know, and this is probably the, probably the biggest thing, we still have Jupiter trying Neptune, okay, and that's faith and hope that life is behind me, life is supporting me, I'm going to get through this, and even though it hurts... <laughs> And I look bad, <laughs> you know, and it looks like, you know, a huge freaking mess. We're going to birth ourselves out of this. We're going to improve as a result of it. And that all this pain and suffering is ultimately for evolution, growth, and becoming better people, better society, better planet, better cosmos. Ow! Yeah, baby. You know what I'm saying? It's all for the good, man. All right. Last time. And if somebody gets hurt or broken, I know I've gone too far. And part of the healing process is for me to raise the bar. May you raise the bar gently, gracefully, and before you can raise the bar before <laughs> you get hurt or broken, but then you may not be hitting your limit either. And you do want to expand your limits. So yeah, boy, yeah, this is also, Jupiter is the expansion of consciousness and the expansion of limits is, you know, broadening our awareness can also be part of that healing process. And, you know, if you hurt somebody else, it may be, of course, oh, this is the other part, right? If somebody hurts you, in La Kesha Lakin, I am another you. They are hurting you. But, okay, like, I could blame, uh, you know, uh, Kali is her name, right? You know, for breaking my nose. But, like, it's like, you know, she was an instrument of spirit to break my nose for me to get something. So if somebody hurts you, they are being a vehicle of spirit for you to learn and get something. So you can look at yourself when you're hurting other people, and then again, you can look at yourself when you get hurt. <laughs> Whoa, check that out. <laughs> Namaste, aloha, so much love.